Alrighty, my friends, going for a new record for us in this in this uh, challenge here. See if we can get actual seven wins in a row with a ship. Pack just in time for more hot chair action. That's right. Yeah, one more run today. Uh, let's see, raid? No, we're doing another run, and I probably won't raid when I go late, which we will most likely go a little bit late today. Okay, so. Trying to think is there's anything I need to change with the the upgrade path we've been going for this ship just to kind of review has been one point into engines and then I think power next we can power that and then we go into shields for the two shields and then we look for an offensive upgrade it's kind of the upgrade path it's been pretty smooth so far not only is this ship's offense strong its defense is not amazing but hacking is flexible that way. Mercy Respirators is just a free... It's not quite as much free scrap as the Crystal Vengeance, I don't think, but it's still extra early boosted scrap, which is really, really good on a ship that's already really strong. Step three, free flak. That's right. <laughs> Step three, free flak. Looks like it could be a pretty good start to the sector. We got three gems and a store. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Pulsar first jump could actually be the death of us if he's got a, a beam drone here. Combat drone. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Delay that just a bit, so he's got no shields. Good. Okay, getting his offense offline is hugely important. Thank you for not hitting my weapons. If this drone comes off uh, back online, we immediately hack it again. Okay, well, at least we're stopping him from repairing it. His doges have been on point, though. Trying to run? No, you don't. That's why I hit you right there. Hit you right in the hit right in the piloting. All right, only one damage and a pole star first jump. That could have been way worse. Thank God he never hit our shields with it. Thank God this guy right here never hit our shields. Step three A: Steel Rebels underpants. Step three B: Question mark. Step four: Profit. With an early story, we might skip on some of the. Um, uh, upgrades I was talking about. Because what if Flak won immediately? What if? Actually, what if? More realistically, something, something we get would be something like long range scanners, so. Bum, 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 bum. Doodle doo doo, scoot doodle doo doo, scootle doo doo. Nice. Zero damage fight. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Hit him right in the piloting. That's right, into the piloting. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I was gonna repair this, and now I cannot repair this. I wonder if there's a fire in the shield. Is that why he's. Would I see a fire here? I don't think I would. Junior 1985. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll take that deal. Okay. Well, we didn't get a lot of scrap before the store, but that's really, really stinking good. Finally, not an early human. Early Zoltan's really nice. Mantis just banging his head on the door. Come on, free crew. You called it, Plunder Pig. You did call it. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that is good. That is a really stinking good start. A free Zoltan and long range scanners at the first door. That is that is what you want on a start. Used to get baked daily and play the game, Maxry. Alright, well thanks for sharing. <laughs> Good to know. 
I didn't know this was a game for stoners, but cool. Ugh, okay, that hurts. But now I know, I guess. Okay. It's relaxing. It is very relaxing, that's true. The music and the ambiance is. I think that's why a lot of people watch this, watch my stream as they go to bed. Why, well, yes, I would like some free power, absolutely. Tail is relaxing. Well, I mean, the music is. The trolliness is rage inducing. So. I kind of agree. <laughs> but if you're baked, as he said, um, you probably don't care if you win that much, would be my guess. My voice is relaxing. FTL is torture. There you go. Map. Map when we just got long range scanners. It's fine. So peaceful, yet so rage inducing. <laughs> That's right. It's relaxing for the casuals. There you go. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't think we can get seven. One, two, three. We might skip the store here. We were listening to this FTL soundtrack with your wife the whole summer vacation two years ago in Spain. It's just so good. It is. It really is. I'm going to... I'm going to not hack you. We probably take damage here. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, that was pretty bad luck, honestly. Uh, but I kind of, I, I committed to that when I didn't hack his weapons immediately. A little greedy, but it's fine. It's fine. Little greed to save a drone part, basically, is what I just did. It's the mix of the relaxing roaming in space and then the stressful fights. It's the game version of the toxic relationship you have with your ex wife. Okay, what? Oh my god. Shogi had five gifted subs earlier. Now they call me Hayes, gifted 10. Bit Sculptor, Predator, Raxa, Skippy the Full, Phoenix, Silly Hatman, Austere Panic, Frosty, and Stan PC Gaming. Wow. See you later, in, in Kiel. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Do I save my scrap for this store, or do I get my shield going? Actually, I can hit the store if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we'll do that. The most relaxing way to play is just sit on the starting beacon, listen to music, watching in the background. There you go. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Okay, lead them to the next sector, hopefully. Okay, good. Is that why I still play? Because I'm trapped in an abusive relationship with FTL and can't get out? That and people watch it, so <laughs> that's why I still play. It's so good and yet so punishing. All right, this time we are not going to save the drone part. We're going to do this. We're going to let that fire. And then right before this fires, we hack, so we desync them. And now we should be immune to taking damage because they never lined up. Oh, my God. The gifted subs today have been amazing. Thank you so much. Call me Hayes. Um, yes, that fires first, and that, that fires. How's runs been today? Uh, pretty good. We're about to hit a record in our no pause streak. General Aurora says, hi, nub. Max, really thank you for a follow. I don't know if you're just rude by nature or what. I don't know why you just come into stream and call me nub. It's kind of rude. Uh, it's a reality show drama. That's what it is. I don't remember you, Kappa. Well, I'm trying to forget you if that's the way you're going to talk to me, honestly. You're squishy. Oh, you're squishy doodly -oo. Okay. Now, let's keep it positive. Let's not call names. Unless you're talking about FTL, then you can call all names you want. Destroy. Let's reach death. It's short for nubile. Surely it's a compliment. Wow. Okay. I'm not really interested about learning what you like there. One, two, three, four. 
We'd much rather show the support here. I really... I love you. <laughs> That's all I could say. I love you. Thank you. Super generous, my friend. Okay, the store... Scrap recovery arm is a bait. So we're just going to get the second shield now. You're not trying to be in toxics. You're just unfriendly and a good behavior. Okay, I think you mean you're trying to be sarcastic, but... Okay. FTL deserves all the names. How the F was he supposed to remind you of a changed name? Duh, I know, right? You don't remember me with my changed name? It, he, he does that every time he comes in, and I, I never remember, so... Um, if you want me to remember you in a positive light, please uh, don't come and chat and immediately call me a name. That's that's streamer tip for you. My runs got you through rough work from home days. Well worth it. Well, awesome, my friend. I love to hear it. I love to hear when people watch the stream while they work. Because it means I'm distracting them, hopefully, from something that is not enjoyable with something that is more enjoyable. All right, when you say, hi, nub, I'm going to go, hey, what's up, douchebag? And then then uh, we'll call it even, right? I guess because <laughs> I'm just being mean in a nice way. <laughs> you know, it's cool. Okay. Nice. Long-range scanner gives blue option. I like it. Okay. Hail them. Okay. Missile. We're going to go ahead and hack this. Nub is like noob, I'm assuming. You have you arrived post troll. I think we're always in the post troll time timing, so <laughs> Okay. We're all noobs. No one is perfect. True, but calling somebody that I don't understand why I have to explain why it's not nice to, to call people names. Everybody's got shortcomings, but to point them out is kind of the definition of being rude. Again, not understanding why I have to explain this to people. I got you through some homework. Nice, MLG. Glad to hear that. If I were a Witcher, which house would I be from? I've not really played the Witcher games. I, I played them a little bit on stream, but I don't know the houses well enough to say that. I don't know. I don't don't I don't have an answer for you. Sorry. Ooh, this is a tough choice. Long range scanners makes Uncharted Nebula very high chance for making lots of scrap. However, pirate controlled is a high chance for free crew. So, let's go pirate. Yeah, and I mean, calling a noob... Calling me a noob for a game that I have over 5,000 hours is like... What else can I call that but somebody just being a douchebag? So... <laughs> if you were a witch or witch, which witch would you wish to be? <laughs> the witchiest wish of the way of the West. The witchiest wish of the West. That's the one I would be. Um, am I going to hack anything? I'm trying to decide here. Okay. You, you have 5k hours in Clash Royale, you're still a noob? Well, that... I seriously doubt you're still a noob. Seriously doubt it. Hey, what's up, uh, Crow Rebel? How are you doing? You're going to roll that house into a drop a coin for your Witcher line. Would I be the Texan witch instead of riding a broom? I'd fly on an AK-47. <laughs> yes, yes, because I live in Texas. I don't have guns though, so I know I know everybody just assumes I have a bunch of guns because I live in Texas. I've never actually fired a real gun in my life, so that's probably wouldn't be appropriate for me. Some of my friends in Texas, yes, for me, probably not as much. You are noob light, thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> noob light. Question is, how do you define a noob? Are you noob being in the 95 percent tile? Okay, diet noob, if you will. <laughs> okay. Diet noob, noob light. All right. Dude. 
no doges. Okay. At least we got his weapons offline there. We take damage here, do we? Do we? Almost. We don't quite, though. Good. Boop a doop a doo doo. The times being like they are, instead of flying a broom, probably flying on a snow shovel, Mia runs and hides. Okay. Flying on a snow shovel. Well, yeah. Yeah, a week and a half ago, yes. Now you would want to ride a beach lawn chair because of how nice and warm it is in Texas. Uh, what was the what was the thing where it was it was negative something and then less than a week later it became like seventy degrees for us. It was kind of insane how how our weather's been acting lately. So I could afford a flak at the store. Actually, yeah, we're gonna we want to go one, two, three. That's what we want to do. Weather can't decide what it wants to do. It must be a preteen. There you go. Preteen. Bored me, huh? Okay. Do one volley, and then I'm gonna move this guy over. There we go. That sounds like somebody speaking from experience. Do you have a preteen you've been dealing with lately, uh, Phoenix? <laughs> okay, these doges are too damn high. Come on, Iron Stunner. Hit, and then double hit, please. There it is. There it is. Okay. Oh, man, but you just left. Why are you back? Don't be here again. Not lately, no, but your nephew and niece just can't decide what to do with their lives. Okay. Okay, don't kill my own dude. Go. Open all doors now, I dare you. No thanks. No thanks, I'm not gonna make a bad play because somebody dared me. I am not Marty McFly. What are you, yella? What are you, chicken? Nobody calls me chicken. Alright, whole laser one's not great, but uh, it's, it's an upgrade from an ion stunner, so I think that's what we go with here. So 35 scrap. Ion stunner gone, whole laser. This and power. And okay. DNA bank, go boarding Kappa. Yeah. Three. What is this? It's an asteroid field. If I go into two nebulas, I do get an extra one jump there, so it's probably worth doing. It's a snow mop. Duh. Oh, there's a callback. <laughs> a snow mop. There's a callback to a past stream. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe? Let's see what we can do here. To be honest, two Lanius versus level two tele uh two Lanius level two teleport's pretty good, just not so much no pause. Yeah. I was actually thinking that earlier. Oh god, free damage. I was thinking if I should um consider going teleporter. The problem is going teleporter I don't think is ever the right play hard mode no pause on a ship that starts with uh, basically on any ship. Because in my opinion, the best build is always gonna be hacking, cloaking, mind control. If you go teleporter think you're basically gimping your end game build so getting a two-person teleporter is just never going to be as good i don't think one two three four five six seven we might actually be able to do here with the two we might actually be able to get eight six Five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. I think we'll be able to get all those. We'll find out, I guess. For no pause, you agree? There's too much that can happen with boarding. With pause, you disagree, though? I can see that. Yeah, with pause, I can see... Um, Um, I could definitely see with pause. Come on, let me... Stupid game. I was honestly trying to move my guy there and it kept opening the damn door. I, I honestly think door hitbox is kind of uh, an issue sometimes in this game. Um, on with pause... I guess your argument is that the rewards from boarding would make up for you losing the chance to have the three OP system. And I kind of see that, but my counter argument would be teleporter falls off late game. So unless you get the teleporter really early, um, it, it, you're, you're, it's a little bit of a gamble, I would say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm pretty sure we get all those. Door hit boxes are like one pixel too high, do you think? Rock A, it's always worth, you think, huh? All right, we are immune to damage here. Oh, and I forgot, we got new weapons. Since I haven't been able to attack anybody since we got these new weapons. Because boarding is good early, but late game... I would much rather have cloaking, hacking, mind control against the boss than a two-person teleporter over... Which of the, which, which of the systems do you drop? I'm going to guess... Mind control? Is mind control the one you drop for the boarding? Teleporting, hacking, cloaking. Okay, yeah, you drop the mind control. Okay. Can almost handle everything. Even boss. Okay. I mean, I could see that. It's definitely a viable build. I definitely don't think that's bad at all. I just don't think it's as consistent as I get in the three OP systems. Mind control, hacking, cloaking. But I can definitely see it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going one, two, three. Oh, wait, no, I can't get five. That's my issue. We'd need to be there in five. And even if we do get there, we can't, we don't get the extra jump. So that didn't quite work out. So one, two, three, four, five. Miss out on one jump. Not too bad, though. Asteroid and asteroid. Okay. My control dropped over teleporter usually. You hack board rockets, phase one. Of course, you need ha decent weapons for phase three or bypass. Hack cloak loss for lots of things. Oh, yeah. I mean, having the two OP systems. I mean, if you're going to drop anything, it's going to be not the two systems that we actually did an entire challenge around called Max Opiness or whatever we called it. Whatever trolley name we called it. We did two challenges. One where we tried to get the Max. God damn it, FTL. Bullshit. Perfectly timed with an asteroid field. Beam hit there. Beam aiming. Uh, we did a challenge completely based around the two most OP systems, in my opinion, which are cloaking and hacking. So that's that made Alenia C ship. You think it would have no O2 system? You could see that. Uh, no O2 is really only viable if you get abandoned sector two or three. Well, I mean, with, if you start with no O2, you can still buy it. It's, it's hardwired that way. I almost feel like they might have initially done something like that. Because whenever we play a ship that starts with no O2, O2 is always buyable for zero. So that makes me feel like that's in the code already for it to be that way. Your opinion, hacking better than cloaking, better than anything else? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, I think that's pretty standard opinion in FTL land. All right, you have no shields. Okay, thank you for not hitting my shields. Like, you mean play AI, AE, but not use AE stuff. What? What are we talking about? Uh, especially with the hacking bug versus defense drones. That's ex actually just a stupid mechanic. Uh, sure. You know, it's also a stupid mechanic. Defense drones not shooting the first quarter of your ship. So, 
There's lots of things in the game that are slightly that way. So. Okay. Um, going into Sector 3, we did get a weapon upgrade. We have enough for mind control. If I don't see an early storm, I'm probably going to get level 2 hacking here. Reactor for 15. Yeah, that's a good deal. I Honestly, I kind of like hacking past defense drone because it's like a... It's like a skill check to me. Uh, we know it wasn't intended, but... Oh, tough choice. NG Homeworlds. I usually... I'm actually going to go Nebula here since I have long-range scanners. Uh-oh. Now we're going to argue over whether hacking past defense drone is a good mechanic or not. Are we really going to have this argument? Jeez, okay. Enemies have unlimited missiles. You have near-perfect hack success. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Okay. We're hacking your weapons is what we're doing. I'm going to let the first one fire and not let the second one fire. Damn it. Really? Too many value points, I guess. Don't hit my weapons. Okay, good. Okay, that's better. Fix the O2. Nice. Get two volleys in before the uh, whole laser comes online here. Don't actually need my hacking yet because it's only got the single basic laser online. He's not running good. Um... Everyone talk about kittens. Hack and debate equals zzz. Okay. Okay. Lost quite a few drone parts trying to hack past defense drones on Monday. Yeah, we did, actually, and that was pretty annoying. Okay, he has... His weapon's completely repaired, and he's not powering them. I guess because he's running? That's a weird mechanic. Okay, that actually pulled him to the... That's actually bad. Okay. I think we still get him, though. Oh, crap. Oh, thank God. I missed clicked or something because it wasn't... Didn't fire at first. Yeah, you're welcome to not exploit the... Uh, the the hacking bug. It seems like you're choosing to play suboptimally, but you're I'm certainly welcome to do that. Uh, kitten bomb, stun enemies with cuteness for 20 seconds. <laughs> with how punishing missiles are in this game, with how punishing so much of this game is, I never, I never, uh, think that the, uh, hacking exploit is, is something anybody should ever feel guilty or not use, unless they're trying to purposefully gimp themselves. Get the missiles offline. Of course, the only weapon they get stay, keep online is the missile. Of course. Okay. Does Hollow use a hacking bug? Absolutely he does. I don't watch him, but... People who here have told me, I'm pretty sure that he does. I don't think you get 92 wins in a row on hard mode no pause without using every single little tiny bit of advantage you can get in this game. Another way to put it, just another restriction challenge. You like playing with hacking exploit, just makes it harder, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're looking for... Basically, our systems is what we're looking for now. Mind control and hack... Uh, mind control and cloaking. It's going to put us at half power, which is... Six. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Let me get full O2 before we go into this jump here. Like, playing for all flax just makes it harder until you find them all, then win. Yeah. FTL on this run. F your oxygen in particular. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that is that maxed? I think 85%. All right. It's close enough. Let's do this. Okay. Prepare to fight. Ugh. 
Is this level 3 cloaking in a half power freaking fight? Ha! Got it offline. Now we just need to actually hit him before it fires. Which is not going to happen, I don't think. So we take damage here, which sucks. Alright, I didn't hit my weapons and I got that offline. Perfect. I'll take it. Alright, I gotta wait for cloaking here. I once dated Elanius. They took my breath away. <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, God. A joke and a pun. All in one. You're a poet and you know it. Okay. I think we can get the next shot through here. No, it doesn't matter. He dodged 50% of my shots. You got him punning now, too? Hmm. Well, I'm just reading what you said. And I make that stupid joke all the time, so... Yes, you, you got me. You got me doing it. You got me, partner. You got me. Is that is that a pun? A poet and didn't know it? That's just a that's just a rhyme, right? That's not an actual pun, I don't think. I'll wait for the cloak here. What an annoyingly stupid fight. Half power. Still has all this power. Can I please get his cloaking offline? Yeah, it's level three cloaking. Yeah, I don't think it's a pun. Pun is where one word means two things, and poet and know it's just a rhyme, so. Don't accuse me of punning. You better not. <laughs> I I resent that remark. Never would I ever pun purposefully. Okay, no store still. So level two hacking is probably the next buy. If we can get cloaking though. It'd be nice if I can save up for the cloaking. Uh oh, what's your what are you gonna hack, bro? Okay. If we're gonna hack that. I'm gonna hack this. Okay, all right. Whew. One heavy laser, a lot less scary. At least this guy doesn't have cloaking. I'll tell you the reason I don't like playing multiverse. Um, speaking of the OPness of hacking and cloaking, is the fact that in multiverse, the chance of enemies rolling hacking and cloaking is so much higher than vanilla FTL, and so it makes the fights longer. Way more challenging and way more punishing. I don't know if they changed that since I played, but I don't think so. It, that was when I when I talked about that. The devs, the developers of that mod, said I think that's something that they liked about it that you could run into enemies with the, those those uh, those systems more often. Oh my gosh, that is a wall of text. Sorry, I'm not gonna read that crow revelt. Okay, 147 scrap. That's is that a dead end? Yes, that's a dead end. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go level 2 hacking and a power. Not power, just level 2 hacking. Okay. I think you're talking about the exploit thing. So for any of those who are interested, there's info on the hack exploit, I guess. It's a big old wall, though, so I'm not reading it right now, sadly. Okay, let me do this so I don't vent my own dude. TLDR, devs approve the hack exploit. Oh, really? Okay, well, there you go. I don't know if I knew that. Okay, let me read this here. Dev Matthew Davis on hack exploit. Hacking drone exploit. This one comes up a lot. I don't remember specifically when it was brought to our attention, pre or post AE launch, but I enjoy exploits that use the actual game mechanics as opposed to exploiting bugs or crooks in the algorithm and never had a problem with it. Drones stop moving when turned off was an intentional design choice, and that's all it depends on. There you go. Cool. So they didn't initially design it that way, but when players figured out how to do that, the devs thought it was thought it was unique and what do you say? I enjoy exploits that use the game mechanics. There you go. So, dev approved exploit. Oh, come on, more borders. Through my doors. 
Okay, no weapons for you. Controversial opinion, when his ultimate is being cloned, it should power the clone bay. Oh. I don't know how controversial that is, but interesting idea. <laughs> More like a idea nobody's heard of. I don't know about controversial. You guys would have to be post AE since hacking only came with it. Yeah, it has to, that. Yeah, for sure. Come on, devs, know your own game. It would have to be post AE since that's when it was added. The bugs do with saving loading frame perfectly are probably not so proved, but having an otherwise normal gameplay, absolutely. I don't know about that. That one, I've never really exploited with that. Anything that requires you save scumming, I I don't, uh, I don't condone those. Five fuel, it's a pretty good deal, but nah, I want more scrap. I mean, I don't even like use the people who use um, the speed hack. Because I feel like that gives an unfair advantage for getting more runs in, so. It's controversial to you, okay? All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I argue with myself, okay? One of me likes it, but the other of me doesn't. My clone doesn't like it after I clone him. So, we argue all the time. So, it's con controversial. So, have I seen this jump? I've seen this jump, so I know it's not a store. We're trying to find a store to get cloaking or mind control right now. Or a good weapon. People still didn't implement your idea of rubbing Zoltans into the shield, turning into the Zoltan shield. I don't know. I'm not sure how the mechanic of you rubbing an... Uh, Zoltan onto a shield is going to be implemented, Azura. So maybe you can work on that. But how do I rub anything on anything in this game? Sounds dirty. So we have at least seven jumps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can get all these jumps. Let's go ahead and do that. What's the speed hack? Well, the speed hack is actually a mod. Um, I think it's a mod called Cheat Engine or something. And uh, some streamers use it to train... Uh, find a ship that can't do damage to them, and then you speed up the game with that hack so it trains them faster. And I find that cheesy because it lets them get more runs in, playing optimally uh, in less time. Just an event, Zoltan Gone, Zoltan Sheetal Logman. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. You can't do damage to me. I do this. Okay. Cheat engine. The speed hack does multiply the speed. Yeah, I think that's the. I think the mod itself is actually called speed hack. So, I mean, if that's not a cheating hack, I don't know what is. Something that literally has uh, cheat in the name. <laughs> Uh, venting Sultan, so they pop and reinforce the shield, and they're unavailable until the clone babe picks them back up. Would be an interesting mechanic. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Would be interesting. Cheat engine can speed up or slow down the speed rate of the game. Allows to train crew experience in a minute versus ten. Also allows you to clone faster. Yeah. It can backfire, though. Some of the people who use it, you know, if you if you leave it, if you like, go too fast or something, it can actually backfire. So there is a little bit of risk reward, but to me, it's. It's mainly used to train crew really quickly, and that to me, what you're, what you should be tr uh, paying in training crew for free against a ship that can't do damage to you is time. So, just feels cheaty to me. All right, we gotta go for weapons here first. I mean, uh, piloting, so we can't get out. And hope his missile doesn't hit my weapons. Nice, we breached it. Perfect. We've discussed this on a stream before. A lot of people are fine with it. I just, it's just a... Speaking of personal opinions, I find the cheat hack, cheat engine to be cheesy. It's useful for streams, yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, it's, and that's why mostly stream... Well, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of non-streamers who use it, but... How I know about it's from streamers. Just for me, a lot of the time, streamers who are playing FTL, the challenge they put forth for themselves is Harbo no pause streaks. And if you can use the speed hack to get more runs in, to me, that's an unfair advantage over people who don't use it. So, again, just just my 
maybe unpopular opinion. Um, Zoltan Monolith. Instead of yeeting a crew, they get turned into the Augment. That would be OP. That's what, what Azura was talking about. You lose a Zoltan to get a Zoltan shield. Okay. Streams are mainly for entertainment anyway. Well, it depends on the streamer, because uh, Hollow was going for a world record, and a number of FTL players do go for some sort of streaks or records or something. All right, pirate again for trying to get crew. We didn't get any free crew in the last pirate sector. Um, not a lot of green sectors. This uh, this thing. I might go engine control just because I need stores to get my get my uh, systems right now. So let's go ahead and do NG here. As much as I want to try to get free crew, maybe we'll get some free crew in NG sector. It technically isn't cheesy because you just accelerate the time without altering the game itself. You are altering the game. You're just, you're doing, and you're doing it fast. I, I, I disagree. I'm just going to say I disagree. It's a solo game. Everyone can play the game the way they want. Only it would be problemat problematic is PvP. Well, and that's the thing. If you're if you're going for records, then you are you are playing FTL PvP. So to me, it's cheesy for anybody who is trying to go for some sort of hard monopause shriek. Otherwise, I don't care. But we have succeeded on every single giant alien spiders we've done today. That's pretty insane to me. That's why hollow streams aren't as entertaining when he's playing optimally. Yeah. Grind isn't supposed to be entertaining. Well, yeah, and that's, that's again, that's the thing. It depends on what you're going for in your stream. If you're going for a record, whether it's the hard mode, no pause, streaking record, to me, you shouldn't get the record if you use that exploit or use that cheat engine or hack or whatever it's called. No matter how good you are, to me, you're, you're getting an unfair advantage over the other people who have competed with you in this, in that thing. Okay. But if you're just playing for fun or whatever, it's fine. I mean, I play for fun. So I technically could probably do it, and I doubt many people would care. Probably even let me play uh, more optimally. Uh, yay, free five repair. That's actually really nice. Um, but it just doesn't feel fair to me. You suddenly have a feeling of deja vu because, yes, we had this whole do you want it in single player only as multiplayer discussion before. Yeah, we. It's like we talk about the same stuff all the time. Man, <laughs> it's like we do that. Um, okay, this is a weird layout. I have to go backwards to hit two stores. Well, let's hit this one first. All right, let's see here. Man, so many mediocre weapons. Another whole laser one. I haven't seen a single burst laser two yet today either. We do have good stuff to sell though. I think I might just get another whole laser one. Is not great as it is. Okay. I really want to buy the NG two. Just having an NG and NG sector means. Blue options, you, you don't miss out on some blue options. So if I do that... I could go small bomb. 55 plus 125. So I could get the whole laser, but I wouldn't be able to get mind control. Actually, I think I can buy them both and then not get this online. Yeah. Become Rand, a smasher of holes. <laughs> I shall smash all the holes. And then the question is if I go... Wow, let's see. How many jumps do I have? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We're not going to waste a jump. If we get another store over here, fine. We'll check it out. Uh, in the meantime... We've got two fuel. And now we're just missing cloaking. Also run the two hull lasers and let the chain lie idle for a while. Is that better? Probably is. Because I have to wait for the whole laser anyway, and these guys have... Well, this guy's got fire chance, this guy's got breach chance. Um, let me look at the percentages on those, I forget. 
Uh, so chain burst laser has 10% fire chance. Hull smasher has 20% breach chance. So it's a higher chance to breach, lower chance for fires. Okay, let's go for the breach. Three times hull beam, one shot the flagship. Does this actually? I don't think I've ever tried three... Three, uh, hull beams before. Oh, cloaking and big frickin' giant missiles. Yeah, I'll take that bribe. I will absolutely take that bribe. Station the NG. Is the NG not in place? I, he was not. And what do you know? Immediate value in the silly device. Welcome aboard, silly device. Just got immediate blue option. NG is like the one crew that I will fairly consistently, if I don't have one yet, buy one in the store. Because you almost always get... Um, Get it paid for in blue options in the run. So good. That's why NGs are my favorite crew. As much as I love Mantids, man. Okay. <laughs> Virus. Um, okay, so improved hacking gives us the most scrap, I believe. Lanius crew. Which is the most scrap here? I don't care about getting Silly Device fully trained, so I'm not doing the NG Crew one. Because this gives you Drone, Reactor, Booster, and uh, Repair, I think? And Reactor. Okay. Yeah. Just the free Reactor on that's really good, too. So I think that is definitely the right choice there. Now we can get the Chain Laser online. Alright, we have got ourselves a weapon system. Now we got to save up for Cloaking. Yeah, I think Lanius is less than the hacking. I, th I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> How much training does a whole door holder need? Hey, he could be the best fighting NG ever, right? I'll sell six. As long as we stay around ten, I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, gosh. Rock controlled, and here I am with no cloaking. Lanius gives scrap, but the equivalent value is less. Yeah, so once we sell the drone reactor booster, we probably have made more than if we had used the, done the Lanius blue option. Disconnect. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's go three jumps in the store. Well, we might want more than three, depending on if we get fuel from any of these jumps, I guess. Uh, try rescue. Hey, free rock, man. You know what? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Wookie says Lanius gives you random scrap, so it doesn't say high, medium, or low. Okay. It's good to know. No missile. Lots of lasers, though. Okay. I have six shots. We're going to hack your weapons. We're going to use our mind control offensively to have a higher chance of you not dodging our volley here. Still pretty good dodges, even with no pilot. Or the equivalent of no pilot. Must have at least level 2 piloting. Unless the guy moved in there quicker than I thought. Okay. Albert Beam. Okay, good. Perfect. scoop a doop -a -scoo. Nice. So here would be a time when we'd want to get a little bit of training in. Possibly get some dodge training a bit. Uh, are we anywhere close to getting any sort of... Oh, we only need three more dodges. Two more for him. I'm actually going to allow this to fire for a bit. As long as they're not... Uh, manning the weapons. Or fixing the weapons. Nice. Do, 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 do. And here we are spending time to try to get some dodge training. Eh, except that I broke all their weapons. Okay, well, we got one extra dodge. Oh, well. 
Can I head out, hill person? We'll see you later, my friend. Have a good one. Um, okay. Streak at six. I've been killing, apparently. Well, this ship is strong, my friend. This ship, we're looking at getting our first... Call it a perfect streak when we get to seven. So. All right, one, two, three. Do I have anything to sell? Had drone reactor to booster. So I, if we go two more jumps in the store, we have a chance at cloaking if it's there. Is this the high streak so far? Yes. The previous win just finally bypassed uh Zoltan shield bypassed our uh <laughs> there's a pun um Zoltan sea streak was our highest previously oh my god so many lasers and he's got a value point in shields you're freaking kidding me game okay okay that's a good dodge no dodge there. Okay. Man, these last two ships. I mean, I guess I'm glad they don't have missiles, so I guess this is better than us fighting big giant rock missile ship, I guess. That's a good deal. All right. If you offer me a weapon, I say yes. Yes, please. Grinding, dodge training. Ugh, who does that? Improved and advanced hacking have different outcomes for the virus event. Yes, they do. So level two is, I think, the advanced one, right? Or, or is it you're saying that level three gives you even better reward? I think, I think, level three hacking actually gives you even better reward for the virus event. Um, we got the one where it repaired us, gave us power, and the drone reactor booster. That's what we got from it. Lanyards are made of metal. They better know good ships. <laughs> First one, but we'll take it. It's a free weapon. And if we get no more weapons in the run, this is boss killable. It's not a great build, but it's, it'll, it'll work. Wow, three shields and insane weapons. Oh, man. Ugh. This is a terrifying ship. I have to hack shields, I think. It's a good dodge. Which will pilot everything into weapons. Okay. Whoo, boy, man. That is an insane build right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a seven or eight power weapon system right there. Sector 4, I think, again. Got some pretty insane enemies. Thankfully, we got that free repair earlier, so... Our health was back up to full. Not a good enough deal. You're not offering me a free weapon, bro. 42 scrap. Very nice. Hack and fire weapons. Uh, I think the shield hack was better. I was considering hacking the weapons, but... If you hack the weapons and then they dodge too much of your volley with three shields, we only have six shots. High chance we did nothing to his weapons, so I think what I did was right. We now have a mental image of my crew sitting there, manning their station, chewing on a piece of scrap like a human would a wad of gum. <laughs> All right. These weapons, man. Such mediocre weapons. Such mediocre, so wow. Automated reloader is good. I was really hoping for cloaking at this store. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Steinich, thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate it. Sorry for the off topic, but how do I feel about the Mantis boarding ship, the Gila Monster? Just started playing it today. It's a nightmare. Is there a worse ship? Gila Monster is uh, Mantis A. It's amazing. My 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 feeling is if you, if you're playing boarding for the first time, you just don't know how to board. Which, again, probably sounds mean. I don't mean that to be in a get good noob. It's kind of a... You might be ignorant to the good strategies for boarding. The boarding is super strong. So, uh... Mantis A is really strong. Early game feels like a nightmare? No, it's really strong. Watch any of my Mantis A runs. Um... Although, I will say, we had some pretty bad RNG ones. Uh, I'm trying to look at my no-pause tier list. I got... 
I only got one in a row before I died, but we had some really bad RNG. That's actually one of the ships I need to replay. So I feel like we got pretty hardcore screwed on our attempts there. So I think it's an amazing ship. Small bomb plus two Bantas boarding is really strong early game. All right, what am I doing here? I think we need dodge since we don't have cloaking. Early game has no real weaknesses. The secret to winning with boarding is never fighting fair. Uh, I would say it does have weaknesses because you can't kill auto scouts with the with the mantis A. So they're, they're absolutely weaknesses. But as long as you're not fighting only auto scouts, you can make some really good rewards. Hey, the civilian ship. The other one can make it not do anything. Oh, God, it's another freaking devil missile ship. Okay. All right, I'm hacking this guy's weapons. Screw this, man. See, that's what I thought might happen last time. We hack weapons and shoot at the weapons and then we get one freaking shot through, man. That's why I should have hacked missiles. I mean, should have hacked shields. Oh my god, the double dodge was amazing there. Still, how? How? I hit your weapons again. How many goddamn value points do you have, game? You are, that's not where I wanted you to go. Okay, good. This missile's offline. Probably should have hacked shields, but... We're still in the green, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I will take it. Okay. There we go. What did I say? We're only getting mediocre weapons? Halberd beam, best beam. Run, all of a sudden, saved. All right. Get um, 11 second charge time. Let's see here. 16. Now we are frickin' talking, my friends. Uh, it's not a hard counter like with a Mantis B is what I was... What, what are you talking about, Hamlo? Mantis A can peck the auto scout death. Oh, it becomes a... Uh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I forgot that it comes with a basic laser. I forgot that Mantis A comes with a basic laser. It Yes, okay. Sorry. You are correct. It has fewer hard counters than the Mantis B because of basic laser. I... I, I Completely, I thought it just had small bomb for a second, but it absolutely you, is. You're absolutely right. One, two, three, four, five. I can get six. Don't want an asteroid field. God, it's so scary to not have missile defense right now in this rock sector. Um. We need uh, level two sensors, I think, for that. One, two, three, four, five. Do we do that? I guess so. You choose hole one over chain laser. Are you wrong? Oh, God. Okay, Clone Bay protects us here. Uh, blue. Really? Really? Well, I didn't remember that event also having goddamn six free hole damage. F you effing FTL, you piece of shiznit. <laughs> Stupid fucking event, man. God damn it. Rock sectors suck. Just just the fact that they have that event makes them just stupid. And I really, really hate rock sectors. Yeah, chain versus hole laser on this. It's like... Uh, potato, potato, I feel like. When I have halberd beam, it's... it's They're similar. This one gets faster, so I feel like potentially will be better. But they're pretty. They're pretty even in my mind. They're both. They're both extremely mediocre. I'm using the weapons that will be faster the longer the fight goes on. 
tier list of sectors incoming. Yeah, I guess we could do that. So we need to do a tier list of sectors. We need to do a tier list of augments. So many tier lists we got to do. So many tier lists, so little time. Okay. That's just a 50-50 guess. Yeah, there's no... The red-blue, there's nothing. There's just a 50-50. Which is one reason I don't like... What was the game we were playing? Um... Uh, what was the one we just got done playing? The FTL clone. Crying Sons. Where every event is just a 50-50. That's so boring. Here I actually will sell will sell chain laser because it's um a longer chart. I have it's more expensive, so we get more scrap to do that. Repair and buy a fuel. All right, we got our OP systems. All we're missing is backup battery. A tier list of tier lists. Which is the best tier list? <laughs> Darn. Could have gotten cheap power. Oh well. Do a tier list. Which is better? Tears of joy or tears of sadness? It's a pretty short tier list, honestly. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. That's a good. That's a really good deal, honestly. Okay, Mantis or Rock? I'm done with you, Rocks. I'm done. Aggressively mediocre is how you describe Whataburger. <laughs> Aggressively mediocre. Well, I don't say that in Texas. People love Whataburger in Texas. It's an institution. They should have made that event always be Redwire as a shout out to the OG bomb cutting scene juggernaut. Yeah, I don't get that reference. Okay. Kill your friends. Okay, well. The guy who gives us a free weapon, we're not getting. We've, I have not done this event correctly in so long now. I just don't want to take the damage from prolonging the fight or allowing them to repair stuff. Okay, three fuel. Very nice. So the tier list about the tier list goes into the S tier list. Okay. Whataburger's great, though, gotta admit. It's, it's good. Whataburger's good. I don't go there that often, but... If I'm going to go to a fast food burger place, like, Whataburger and Wendy's are probably the top of my list if I had to choose one. Whataburger and Wendy's are probably the two that I prefer. If we're talking fast food burgers, anyway. What is Whataburger as a French Canadian? It's, no, what? Whataburger. Whataburger. Okay, we have cloaking here. Let me pronounce it in a way that hopefully is easier to understand. It's Whataburger. Like, oh wow, what a burger. How good is it? Oh man, let me tell you how good it is. What a burger. It's it's a it's a pun. Honest actually it's a pun. That makes me like it a little less because I think it's actually their name is a pun, but you know, it's still pretty good. Up in Midwest, we got Culver's. Okay. Boy, I tell you what, that is what a burger. You've only had In-N-Out? Yeah, In-N-Out is what a lot of people like in California. At least that's that's because that's what I grew up in California and they had In-N-Out and people in Texas are like, oh, it's new and amazing. I honestly don't. Think In and Out burgers are all that good. I'm gonna take free stuff. Right, I'm gonna see here if there's not a store up there. I'm upgrading my shields. Culver's is pretty good, especially the custard. I'm not a fan of custard, although I don't I haven't had it much. So, <sighs> freaking free damage, man. Okay. Okay, well, 94% dodge, we hit, that's fine. Okay. Very nice. 
Uh, frozen custard, basically like ice cream somehow works for you. Okay. Well, I, if it's if it's dairy, then I would not be able to eat it. So sadly, even if it's amazing, my days of eating ice cream have come to an end. Unless they have dairy-free frozen custard, which I'm guessing is probably not a thing. You only only went into Wendy's once, and you had a veggie burger, which was their regular burger without the patty. So a ketchup sandwich. <laughs> what? Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting that. I'd recommend a real burger. But if you're a vet, if you're a vegetarian, I guess that's why you chose to get that. And it sounds awful. <laughs> sounds awful to me. But you know what? I... Who am I to judge? No beer, no ice cream. What are my vices? Do you have to ask? Cookies, uh, basically anything chocolate. Cookies, fudge, candy. It's got chocolate in it, I want it. Three, four, and I even want chocolate ice cream. I just can't eat it without my stomach wanting to kill me or me wanting to kill myself after eating it. Pizza, every once in a while is a vice. I actually got pizza last night. Not good for my stomach, but God, tastes so good. One, two, three, four. That would be a dive, okay. Like how my cookies are in little drug baggies. Well, I do it because uh, to keep them from, you know, I have a package of cookies, but if I just leave it open, it, um, you know, they get they get stale, or stale the right word, they get crunchy when I want them to be chewy. So yes, drug baggie because I am apparently Walter White. I purposely let my halberd beam hit first because I wanted to have his dodge lowered. Oh crap, that's a that is a zolt. that is a an ion bomb on my shields. Cookies are not a vice, they are a necessity. <laughs> that's right. Like the way you think. How about lactate or an allergy thing? I actually do use that when I eat pizza. <laughs> Anything that's got a lot of cheese in it, that's lately what I've been doing. But I don't, I, I, if I wanted, if I really, really wanted to have ice cream, I could get dairy, dairy free or I could do that. But to me, I already eat unhealthy enough. I don't need to add ice cream to the mix of unhealthy things I eat. So, isn't there like a dairy free pizza though? I guess it's really not the same without the cheese. Yeah, I, I wouldn't want to eat it if there, if there was. So. To be Walter White, I need blue cookies. Oh, okay. I don't know what that is. Okay, what do you have hacking wise? Piloting, okay. I really need to get my, my uh, backup battery. Wow, he hit me a lot when I had. Oh, was I hacked when he shot that? I think I was. I think my piloting is, was hacked during that. It sucks. All right, you can't get through my shields now. We're good. Cauliflower pizza. Ugh. Just saying the words makes me shiver in grossness. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. Okay. Cauliflower pizza crust is actually not bad. Oh, it's the crust? Oh. Well, okay, I could see that not being terrible. That you're talking about is like a topping. We're gonna have a broccoli, cauliflower, and spinach pizza. Who wants some? No kid that I've ever met would ever want that. Okay, uh, heavy laser two's available. No flax here. Whoops, no, that's not what I meant to hit. Um. You don't have backup battery, do you? What sector are we in? We have one more sector to try to find backup battery. Is that like cauliflower cheese baked crust might not be as so applicable? It's a gluten-free option. Oh, okay. Your kids like all those things, but would not like them on pizza for sure. 
You mean literally blue? Blue meth is his signature drug he does in the show that only knows the recipe for. Okay. Double heavies and halberd? Uh, I don't love it. Just because buying a level two, uh, uh, heavy two right now is kind of inefficient. I honestly think what I'm doing is I'm selling this. Or just repairing and buying fuel. Heavy Laser 2 is great, but Heavy Laser 2 and Halberd Beam kind of serve similar purpose as being high DPS weapons. Heavy Laser 2 is great, but it's expensive. Rip Heavy Laser. No fuel. I'm going to get the fuel. You all got to be patient, man. Got to think about all my options. Heavy Laser 2 is amazing. Problem is, Halberd Beam is just even more amazing, and I already have it. And what I, what I really want is ways to get through shields when hacking is not online. So that's... Slu uh, Heavy Laser 2 does not fill that role. Okay. Go ahead and do this. One jump and then the store. And then into the nebula. If I didn't have Halberd Beam, absolutely I would have gotten the Heavy Laser 2, but... Oh well. I want to cloak the bomb if I can. There it is. This guy's got four shields, and that's why I got level three hacking. Okay. Do not have any more any doges though. No surrender. Can I get any doge? No doge. All right, it's fine. Just small while I'm hitting us, that's no big deal. Uh, unusually low nebula percent for a slug nebula? It's true. This is... You would, you would expect in a slug home nebula for there to be... fewer non-nebula jumps. Alright, we're gonna go to the store now. Even though we had an extra ship fight there, I really want to check to get back a battery before I... Do anything else? Because I need to get level 202. Freaking no backup better. There's second halberd beam, though. Oh, man. They really want me to go in double halberds today. Do I do it? What is that? Four damage per room? Ah, The problem is, without hacking, I don't get through with that. So I'm not going to do it. If I had a flak to go with that, maybe. All right. So our, our other store should be in the nebula somewhere. So what I'm going to do now is the upgrades we need for this sector, which is those, those, two power, and buy, how much fuel do we need? This is 100% a dive sector. This exit beacon can be in way to the left and also being in a nebula. That means we get all the jumps we can and then jump out after 11 or... 11 plus jump. So we want all of the fuel. We'll get like, we'll get nine. As long as we get a couple fuel jumps, we'll be good. Maybe buy drones. Yeah, we're a little low. It's true. That is true. Might be worth. I'm going to see if we can get a good first volley here. Nice. Saving our cloak for that. Shot right there. This is the reason right here why I didn't get Heavy Laser 2. Because if I want to get through shields without hacking, I need more projectiles. As awesome as Heavy Laser 2 is, it's only two projectiles. Yeah, I I try not to buy drone parts because it feels like a waste of scrap. You, If you could end the game with exactly zero drone parts and zero fuel, that would be like maximum efficiency, so... Unless they have four shield, I probably won't uh, hack. Or if they have missiles. Uh, I control kill your friend. His weapons are pretty good. I think I am going to do this. Cloak the bomb. Ugh. 
And that right there is why I don't love Halberd Beam. I messed up a click and uh, didn't get the full volley through. It's all right. You're still dead. You're still dead, sir. Okay, welcome to venting yourselves, Mantids. Finish them off. Uh, we are most grateful, but uh, that is, uh, we do not currently have the gimme free stuff. Ho oh, ho! That was like 130 scrap or something crazy. Get, get rich quick by killing mantis who are attacking slugs. That was a beautiful reward right there. Cha ching! That's right. That dude, that's scary. Any of the game with zero drone parts would make me crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that would be max efficiency, which I don't do, but I like to hover around five to ten drone parts. If I'm hacking, as long as I don't have defense drone that I'm needing for missile defense, it's kind of where I hover. Okay, so we're looking for a store. Um, we have long range scanners for any blue options that level two sensors would do. If only there were more self 15 missile events. Yeah. Yeah, if only you could just sell missiles at stores. Decline. That's a tarp. I really am a hacker. I, okay, yes. Yes, yes, I am. Okay, you have a missile, so we will use shield hack here. And they're immune to mind control, so we will not even power that. Okay, we do this. We cloak the first missile. Wow, we took one shield down with that volley. Okay. Okay, breach missile is good for us because time's out with the charge time on cloaking, but he's just dead. And I think uh, I think Pie Boy always tells me that if there's a big giant missile for slugs, it's always a breach missile. I think. Can't you mod the missile selling thing? Uh. Yeah, you can mod all sorts of stuff, but I'm not doing it when I'm playing Harba No Pause tier list challenges. I could just mod the game so I could win immediately every time, and I'm not doing it. <laughs> I have a mod that literally makes missiles do zero damage. But reason I'm not using it. Uh, okay, actually, that's really nice. Um, I don't think I could brag about, um, you know, having some sort of tearless streak if I use mods like that, so. Not that, not that it matters that much. It's not like I'm submitting this to some leaderboard or anything like that. So I want to be here in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I missed out on probably one jump there. That's fine. So looking for, what we're looking at for the store, anything that's not, uh, two power weapons that are better than these two crappy weapons. Okay. Ah, backup battery. Okay, I almost forgot what I needed. That's what I need right there. Okay. Slug pilot train, do I care about that? I don't think I want to buy any more crew. I think I'm good. My control counter. Could get, um, could get ion bomb. How slow it is, I don't... It's not super high on my list, though, so... I'm gonna do this. Now we're going for... This is probably gonna be our final build. There's a... Is there a chance for another store? I think that's only one Nebula store. I think there's a small chance for another store, so let's save our scrap. Let's see, here at the FTL Hall of Fame, we do not allow that type of mod for inclusion in the official stats, that's right. Could go to jump beacon for the extra jump. Well, the uh, the exit beacon is never anything in a nebula, so it's it's pointless. It's just a waste of fuel. So there's no reason to ever go to an empty jump if you're trying to get scrap or anything from it. Okay. Oh, ha! You left with only one health left. Nice. Or with my guy at only one health. Beautiful. Yes, for those who don't know, um, 
Any exit beacon that is in a nebula, whether it's a slug home, slug regular nebula, or slug or uh, uncharted nebula, it's always empty. There's never any event or store or anything in it. You want to say it's very rare that nebula exists? Like anything? Yeah, so rare that it never happens. It's it's always nothing. That's why it'd be rare. Yes. <laughs> be funny if you could sell consumables to the flagship. Okay, it'd be interesting. Um, okay. Trying to decide. I want to invest in any, any, um, I want to invest in any value points now. Let's just save up for the, the level four shields. Aren't other boarding events? Boarding our ship for nothing in an empty nebula? Even if it was, that wouldn't be a positive event, but no, that doesn't happen. Ugh, okay. That is not a thing. There are. I learned that from either a stream or a wiki or something. I forget exactly where I learned that. It might have been from Lethal Frag, who is the person who I learned most of my early FTL knowledge on. But I am 95% sure that that's true. You give your consumables to the flagship for free. Here, have a missile and also hacking in the face. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay. What would you do? Bribe them to leave Fed Base for a turn at a time? Yeah. Okay. 214 scrap is enough for that. Oh, the power for it, but we'll see if there's missiles. We'll swap that around, most likely. Okay. And that's why if there's an exit beacon in, in a dive, that or exit beacon in a nebula, it's often worth diving if you can get extra jumps for it. Because since there's nothing you get from it anyway, you can skip the jump. And nebula, nebula exit dives never have ASB. So if the exit beacon is in a nebula, you can skip it and then dive it. And that's the safest dive you'll ever get is nebula dives or nebula exit dives. Okay, very nice. Do I go for... I'm gonna try to save a hacking drone here. We are pretty low on hacking drones, honestly. Okay, I guess a little, a little damage there. Is Nebula X always useless? Yes, it's always empty. You didn't know that with the ASB? Yeah, uh, exit beacons are in a Nebula never have an ASB. At least not in, not in vanilla or advanced edition. There's probably some mods that have changed that. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Captain's Edition or um, Multiverse, that wasn't the case. But in vanilla FTL, this is always true. Okay. So if this is a store, I would I would double dive for a store. Nebula non-exit beacons taken over always have Ion Storm, you've read. I believe that's correct, Hamlo, yes. I can actually test that if I end up diving here. This is an educational stream, as Kenny always says. Got to learn. Learning all about it. Extra, extra, learn all about it. Okay, no shields for you. It's nice. Next missile has a chance to hit us. So far, 45 is good. Our 45 is not good. Our 45% doge is not good enough doge. No surrender. Oh, thank God. Okay. Our power ran out. It is a store. Okay. Quick question. You're on the NGA with default ion blast two and drone flak and drone flak one with charge ion one. What? What weapon would complement that? What what is drone flak one? Are you saying you have a drone and a flak or what? There's no such thing as a flak drone. At least not in unmodded. So Clarify what you have, if you don't mind. Do you want to score farm and are adequately, 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 adequately equipped? Nebulas are the perfect place. Yeah. 
Yeah, you wish there was a Flak Jones, right? So, you know what? I don't think this is actually going to be a dive. I think it looks like it's going to be short enough we won't get a dive to see if it's a Ion Storm. So you have a normal combat drone, a Flak 1, Ion Blast Mark 2, and a Charge Ion. You have so much stuff. What weapon would complement that? Um, double Ions with combat drone is a pretty safe build because you can Ion offensive systems like weapons that the enemy has and keep them offline. Um, but honestly, what flak goes with everything. So flak and halberd beam is one of the best combos you can get. Any heavy laser with a flak is amazing. So there's a lot of good choices for what you got here. Are you asking if you should buy the charge ion? Charge ion with ion blast mark two is pretty good if you know how to uh, disable enemy systems with ions. It's pretty good. Basically, every, aim all the ions at... Aim, aim one of the ions at shields and one of them at the weapons, and you can uh, you can disable enemies pretty pretty well. Might get drone parts here. Let's buy one, two repair, and then I need two power. But with the flak, you have a lot of options. You get halberd, just sell, sell the combat drone, go flak halberd, and you're almost boss ready if you get hacking. Ions are underrated. Ions, duh, is so powerful. Uh, do I think ions are underrated? I don't know about underrated. I'm late on this, but I'm gonna fire everything at weapons. Look it out before this big missile. I think I might. Yes! Zero damage to I'll take it. In my opinion, ions are... At, you, you can look at my tier list if you want to know my rating on ions. Uh, ions don't do whole damage, so... I don't really think they're underrated. They are situational. So hope you're going to find a halberd because you already got cloaking and hacking. Nice. Would finally give you the third ship in the unlock if you if you get the win. Nice. Ion build is great, but it takes time to wear down shields. You need good defense to handle that. Yeah. Um, it depends on the ions you have. And my issue, again, with like double ion, like ion blast mark two, ion charger plus combat drone is that you're, you're reliant to, to kill the boss or to kill the enemy. You're reliant on a on a drone that you don't control. So... Oh, man. Do I go to a store? I honestly think I just skip the store. Get get repairs. We get the drone parts. We're, this is this is our boss killing weapon system. It's not amazing, but I'd have to sell stuff to change it out. And that would be just inefficient to get out of flak or something. Okay. Big giant missile. But oh, we got our cloaking, so we're fine. That'll really delay him boarding us here. <laughs> hey, holy 59 plus 49. That was over 100 scrap right there. Very nice. Do repair stations always give the same amount of missile drone parts fuel? I think so. I think it's always five of each, yeah. The scrap can vary, but I'm pretty sure the, uh, the consumables varies. Uh, uh, is consistent. Okay, value, value. Um, I guess we get more dodge. We're actually gonna get a lot more scrap here. I sure wish the store was down here. You know, one of the one of my favorite complete rework mod things that is that I've played, and one reason why I, I liked SMPK Insurrection mod so much. God damn it! Is They made it so that the exit, uh, the uh, final. It's 
fine. I'll take that. Uh, the final base always has a store in it if you get there before the boss. I think that is a change that FTL Vanilla should have. For one thing, it incentivizes you to get to the base before the boss, and it um, gives you a guaranteed store in the final sector. I, I, That's one of my favorite changes. I wish every rework mod had that. That to me is one of the best ideas I've seen in a rework mod is, is the guaranteed store on the boss or on the base if you get there before the boss. Mm, not sure what I want to invest in here. Do 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 bum bum dee da bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. We have everything we need, so everything else is gravy. Everything we don't have is gravy. Do, do, do. Is shield guaranteed in a shop with a shieldless ship? Uh, if there are systems in it, I believe yes. If there are, uh, it's not guaranteed that you'll have systems in that store, but if there are systems, I believe it's a guarantee that shields will be there. It's absolutely possible that you have no shields, you find a store, and there's only weapons and drones or something in it. Medbay or Clone Bay is also guaranteed on a ship like Slug B. Oh, is it? Uh, I don't know if I knew that. Again, if it has this, if if there are systems in the in the shop, that I might not have known. Okay, we'll go weapon value point and go more dodge than I normally get because it's diminishing returns here. Stealth C once made it to sector four without shields because every single store since sector one was cucking you hard. Yeah. Well, I mean, we we have on our on our YouTube a shieldless run. Shieldless runs are absolutely possible. Basically, get level three shields. And, um, although I think the one that we won the shieldless run on, we ended up with Zoltan Shield, I believe. So, is it a shieldless run with Zoltan Shield? Eh, that's probably actually debatable, but I think we actually did a completely shieldless run once. It's pretty challenging, but it's definitely doable. Basically, you're relying on cloaking for your, uh, for your defense. You just happened to watch that one? Okay. Ne Necro Rebel did one of those last right night? Yeah. You watched the video, you might not have thought of that otherwise. You survived because you picked up second shield drone. Really? Living with living with shield, shield drone and cloaking, huh? All right. All right. I see you. I see what you're doing there. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, we are really freaking strong, honestly. Um, I can get one more ship fight for the boss. Got to go for the third time, third time today. All right, thanks for telling me three times. We'll see you later, Nateni. You have a good one. Kill your friends. All right, we're gonna cloak the cloak this, I guess. No surrender. Never give up. Never surrender. Okay. Wow, I can even get one more jump. That's probably a little greedy. If we need to run away and come back, if I go now, I think we can. But if I go one more jump, I wouldn't be able to jump away if he hacks my weapons, I don't think. So... If I go level 2 backup battery, that gives me 4 power for level 3 hacking, level 3 cloaking if we want to. So let's get the level 3 cloaking. Okay. Loki trying to finish your dinner and and anticipation in anticipation of cookies. Nice. <laughs> Hurry up. You need to be ready for those cookies. All right, this is the third worst hack in my opinion, but we'll take it because it's not the first worst hack, which is weapons. We got the triple dodge with 98%. It's pretty good. Mind control you. Oh, I use level 3 cloaking, which is not actually useful there, but it's fine. All right, wait for the cloak. That's a triple hit because we are 
Dogeless. Okay, two two crew kills and only one damage. I'll take that for a, a piloting hack. I will absolutely take that. SN10 landed. It didn't blow up. One more stride towards Starship made. What is SN10? Is that something to do with the whole Mars rover thing? Is that a piece of that or something? Yeah, pretty clean first flip. First first plays. First plays very flow very clean. Oh, what are you hacking? Piloting again, huh? Okay. You guys really, really hate my piloting. Nice. No missile for you. Scoop, doop, doop, do. Scoop, doop, doop, do. Scooby, dooby, do. They fired all three rockets to flip and slow the landing. They switched to one rocket to complete the landing. It's a new rocket for humans. Oh. It's a new human rocket, huh? Oh, that's cool. I haven't heard of that one. One more stride towards Starship Made. Starship Made. Are you talking... I guess what you're saying is it's one more step towards a sh ship, a human... A ship that humans can go on that can actually go up, that can land on a planet and go up, go out to the stars, and is what I guess you're talking about, which is pretty awesome. All right, uh, this and this, okay. Pretty cool tech. You can't vent humans on Earth, so you got to launch them into orbit first. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you can vent humans on Earth. You just, it's kind of illegal. So if you do it, you're kind of getting in trouble. Okay, uh, this actually kind of sucks. We're gonna vent our own Zoltan. Okay. Uh, cloak's too early. Crap. This is this is the worst place he could have landed, actually. God damn it, the frickin' weapons. Okay, we were having really good dodges, though, so that's at least a good thing. Okay, that's much better. That is much frickin' better. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was not my favorite phase two of all time. Goddamn boarding drone wrecked me there. One thing I will say about this ship, it's kind of a pain in the ass to have Lanius on your ship when you're dealing with boarding drones. It's kind of a pain in the ass because you can't can't open up all your doors. Um, you know what? Um yeah, I actually I probably shouldn't have just had the I shouldn't have had the Zoltan in in weapons. That was just a mistake. It makes us susceptible to boarding and weapons because Zoltan dies, we lose power. So when I put the Zoltan in door in weapons, I kind of thought this is probably not the best play, but oh well. Still green, yeah, we're we're fine, but it's still still not the best phase. I cloaked I cloaked the missile twice instead of the uh, over overcharge the drone overcharge. So a number of things I did there that I don't think were the best plays. I'm going to have you hang out in mind controls. I'm going to have you do. Okay. Cool part is making the engine reusable by it not smashing in the planet every time. Part of the reason space is so expensive. Yeah. Never punish. Yeah, such a bad play. Never never punish. Okay, let's go here. Let's go ahead and vent you. Is there a mod with precise flak targeting, not per room? <laughs> yeah, it's called Bruce Laser 2. Uh, I don't know. I've never... There there are, there are tons of mods out there with changed weapons. There's probably one out there where Flak is not as... Uh, 
large of a radius. Okay, all right. Um, let's see here. Okay, all right. So vent, vent, vent. To deal with borders. Got this guy to deal with borders and our and our ng. Okay. We follow you and we get boarded and run if we need to. We got a couple crew kills. Not nearly enough though. He bugged out and didn't board us. It's been a while since we've had this. Very nice. I never know what causes this, but I love it when it happens. It means he's going to be able to repair faster is the only bad thing, but I will take it. Okay. That was a great start to this fight. And since he didn't board us and I didn't have to worry about other micro, we are looking really clean. All right, my friends. One more volley. Oh, two more volleys. Two more volleys. Here we go. Final volley and... With the final swipe of the Hellbird. First perfect hard mode, no pause, tier list streak. Seven in a row. We did it. We freaking did it. Imagine using flak to snipe crew. Imagine that. Yes. One more volley or two or three. You know, who, who's actually counting? GG cookie time. And I have a cookie because it's the end of the stream. And I'm about to eat dinner. But we finally did it. We finally got a ship where we got seven in a row. Lania A, super strong, might need to put it up to S tier. I think I have it in A tier. What's the score? 60-42. Some really good scores there. Take that, Zoldan C. Zoldan C finally supplanted. Took us getting to uh, A tier on Lania A. And I'm thinking this one's probably going to go up to S tier. Or I have, I had double S tier and then I have double A tier, so probably I just turned double A tier into single S tier or something, because I have Stealth A and Slug C in that, but Lenny A starts attacking, it probably deserves to be up there. Super strong. So, really good runs today, man. I was I was not expecting, honestly, the Lenny A to do this well, but that shows the power of the, of the, of the hack. I was going to say of the flak, but it shows the power of the hack. Man, maybe, maybe... Should Lenny A be above Lenny B? Lenius B is uh, double Lenius boarding with mind control and flak, um, advanced flak. Probably not. I don't think just hacking makes it good enough to be better than Lanius B, but I feel like it's better than a lot of these other A ships. So probably, probably it's 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 getting closer. I I just I think I undervalued hacking for this. I probably should have put this higher. So my friends. This was a great run. We got four wins in today, which puts us at seven wins in a row with the Lania A. So we're going to retire the Lania A from this streak. Next, we are, we're working on the uh, Mantis B. So next weekend, we will see how Mantis B does if it gets up to five or six wins. It's at three currently. Um, tomorrow, we're, tomorrow I'm, it's going to be a short late stream because I got to go do some singing. So I got singing gig tomorrow until around two. So it's probably going to be a short... Short, late uh, Dyson Sphere program stream tomorrow. Friday, we will continue our new FTL streak, which is hard mode with pause, which we're working on Zoltan A, and we'll see if we can get that one up. If I can't get to Zoltan A up to seven wins with pausing, and I can, like you say, without pausing, that might be kind of an issue. So, uh, my friends, I hope you all had a good time. If there is anybody new to the stream, if you did have a good time, please with the follow and come join us again. Uh, this Sunday, we will be playing... Dyson Sphere, and I think I actually get to do a full stream this Sunday, so it'll probably be the first full Dyson Sphere stream I've had in about a week, so Y'all are amazing. Uh, we had some great gifted subs today for all those who support streaming that way You are amazing. You go above and beyond. I really appreciate it And I can never thank you enough for that for everyone else who hung out For anybody who bits follows who subs who lurks who just hangs out and watch the chat You all are the reason I do this and you're the reason I'm able to do this. So I hope you all had a great time I will see you all tomorrow for a short late stream, and if not, Friday for some more FTL. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace out. Happy gaming. Good night, my friends. Y'all rock. Later, all.